I decided to stop at Lau's Rest Area on McKinley Road. It's where the river goes by. And uh, I'm waiting. I'm waiting in the water. It's nice. The water feels good. It's a hot day. This is the mighty Osabo River. I don't see any rafters or anybody today, but it is Monday. That's usually a weekend thing. Man, this is relaxing. I thought about skinny dipping, but uh, I don't know. It's something I would have done probably a few years ago, more than a few years ago. I'm just gonna sit here and let my feet dangle. I probably should have set up a little more because now my shorts are full of water and I'm going commando. So, ah ha ha. It's a little chilly. We had a lot of tourists over the weekend. The road was packed. I went down to Rose City to see my sister road was bumper to bumper well i can't say bumper to bumper but it was a lot heavier traffic than usual should be at home doing stuff i could stay here all day literally i could stay here all day This is called the Osabo Overlook. It's got some signs here about the Osabo River watershed. It starts way up in Otsego County. It goes down through Crawford County and then down into our county and then over into Alcona County. It's got the Pine River, the Osabo River, Mm, Perry Creek. A lot of fishing on this river. I grew up in West Branch, which is about 35 miles away. But a lot of folks I knew as a kid would come up here to go fishing. I can see why. Even if you don't catch anything, you've won the day. I live in a really nice place. I don't live right here at the river, but it's close enough that if I need to relax, I can come here. I just pulled in here spur of the moment and that other one, the Huron National Forest, um, where I went waiting. Spur of the moment. Can you do that where you live? 